I was born in Brooklyn, New York. I knew nothing about the outdoors. I just knew the city life and that was it, but never hiking. Hiking was never a part, never crossed my mind, never crossed my family's mind to do anything like that. When I told people I was gonna through hike, they were shocked. My mom is like, she's Latina, and she's like yelling at me in Spanish. She's like, ¿Por qué tú estás haciendo esto? Ese loco, you know? As she's serving me like a big plate of rice and beans, you know? So the people surrounding me, like my friends, my family, they knew nothing about the Appalachian Trail or anything like this, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I knew nothing until I actually got to the approach trail and that was the first time I ever like carried a pack and started hiking. My first day on the trail, look, I, I'm from Brooklyn, okay? Like there's a lot of stuff that could happen there, but I went, when I first started my hike, a squirrel running on dry leaves spooked me. I was terrified. And then as I like, started hiking with other people, I got a little more comfortable. So the hikers on the trail, the through hikers, saw that I knew nothing. But they were so cool. They were just happy that I was trying this. They didn't think I was gonna make it, but they were willing to teach me along the way. Everyone embraced me. So I felt nothing but love on the trail from through hikers, day hikers, people that just met me, um, trail angels, everyone, nothing but love. When I finished, I, it's hard to explain the emotions because there were so many. I was relieved and I also just wanted to go home and rest. <laughs> I would say I knew right away I was gonna miss the trail. And I knew it was gonna be, I was gonna be, when I went back home to New York City, that I was gonna feel like an outsider. Because being in the woods, doing this activity, and going back to the sounds of New York City, I knew it was gonna be difficult for me, and it was gonna be hard for me to readjust. And a part of me didn't wanna readjust to New York City. Now, I love hiking, I love the outdoors. I have a responsibility now to actually share my story. I'm hoping when people read my book that they feel that they're standing next to me during my journey, like walking with me, hiking with me. So I want them to feel like, hey, I could do this. If this guy from New York City that had never done anything like this can do such a grand adventure, I'm like encouraged now to do something that I was afraid to do. I can do it. I want it to be one day where when I'm out on the trail, I'm not someone that they're surprised to see. I want to see all different types of people on the trail. People of all ages, different color, creed, you know, people from like all over the world, people from the city. When you come out here, there's something special about the wilderness that actually just makes you feel alive.